People think it's all about the strength of those pectoral muscles. But actually, the power of your pecs stems from a pair of little tiny nerves of the thoracic wall, the medial and lateral pectoral nerves. Every time he flexes his pecs, those little nerves are firing to initiate those bouncy movements. Anyway, let's give this guy a little privacy. While we take a closer look at the nerves of the thoracic wall. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at what exactly we're going to learn about today. We'll begin this tutorial with a quick look at the structural components and functions of the thoracic wall. We will then move on to the main topic of this tutorial and explore the nerves of the thoracic wall. Here we will describe the two main groups of nerves which supply the muscles and bony structures of this region, the thoracic spinal nerves and their branches, and the thoracic branches of the brachial plexus. To finish off, we'll take a look at some clinical notes relevant to the innovation of the thoracic wall to help consolidate our knowledge. So without further ado, let's begin with the anatomical structure of the thoracic wall. The thoracic wall consists of skeletal framework, fascia, muscles, and neurovasculature, all connected together to form a strong and protective yet flexible cage which functions to protect the contents of the thorax and facilitate ventilation or breathing. The skeletal framework of the thoracic wall, otherwise known as the thoracic cage, is formed by the 12 thoracic vertebrae, 12 pairs of ribs, and associated costal cartilages and the sternum. The muscles of the thoracic wall include the intercostal and transversus thoracis muscles anteriorly, the subcostal on the inner surface of the posterior thoracic wall, and the serratus posterior and levatoris costarum, which we can see from a posterior view, on the outer surface of the posterior thoracic wall. These muscles play an active role during breathing. Other muscles which attach to the thoracic wall but act on the upper limb include the pectoralis major and minor, the subclavius, and the serratus anterior muscles. But we're not going to explore the bones or muscles of the thoracic wall today. We're going to focus on the nerves, which we'll take a look at now. Let's begin with taking a look at the first group of nerves, the thoracic spinal nerves and their branches. There are 12 pairs of thoracic spinal nerves. These nerves originate directly from the thoracic spinal cord and emerge between each thoracic vertebra. They are numbered from T1 to T12, according to each thoracic vertebral level. The thoracic spinal nerves are mixed nerves, meaning that they carry both motor and sensory innervation. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.